the most frequent question that i get asked online is how i learn about different data science topics and understand the new deep learning papers that seem to come out pretty much every day now so i've been meaning to make this video for a while now and share with you guys some of the data science educators that i follow and learn from but i've never quite had the opportunity to do so but now seems like a good time to do so with some recent events taking place concerning a popular data science educator on youtube if you guys don't know i'm talking about the siraj rawal controversy so basically he has a youtube channel where he teaches about topics in data science and machine learning to young students but due to some of the unethical things that he did recently uh, regarding plagiarizing a research paper he has been facing a lot of backlash and is losing a lot of his online following so i'm not going to crap all over him in this video i just wanted to make a video and share with you guys three uh, small and upcoming youtube channels that i regularly follow and i feel they offer a lot more value and are much better if you really want to understand the uh, algorithms in depth the first channel i want to cover is going by the name of code emporium with about 13k subscribers the channel has over 50 videos covering topics from basic statistics traditional machine learning as well as the latest in deep learning there is also good explanations of the math behind all algorithms covered in the video i came across this channel when i was looking to understand cycle gans and his explanation of the algorithm helped me make the video where i use cycle gan to convert fortnite graphics to look like pubg and best of all unlike my voice the director's speech is very soothing to listen to here take a listen now that we have some notation let's start deriving the adversarial losses we have two gans so two adversarial losses to compute first consider the g d y pair For the discriminator, each input sample has to be classified as either real or generated. We'll model the parameters of the GAN theta g that maximizes its performance using maximum likelihood estimation. Next channel I frequently watch is from a PhD student, I believe. I am not very sure, but uh, he goes by the name of Yannick Kilcher, and I hope I'm pronouncing the name right. This channel has about 4000 subscribers and has excellent long format videos explaining the latest research papers that are complex I'm sorry I mean complicated in nature I especially found his discussions on population based learning methods quite informative when I was first introducing myself to different reinforcement learning methods and his usp is that he also does meme reviews for machine learning that's quite funny being a dl researcher is not stress at all it's very sick now the third channel is easily the best of the bunch it is from another phd student named zander and the channel's name is archive insights He makes educational videos about deep learning and also does a great job of explaining the math behind the papers. I think his USP is that he is very similar to Siraj except that he deeply understands the topic he is covering and takes time to explain it in detail. So you might need to trade off quantity of videos for quality but trust me it's totally worth it. His latest video explaining Nvidia's Tilgan algorithm has helped me immensely for the next project that I'm working on and he manages to explain things easily to beginners and has also very good uh, video editing skills to keep things interesting. Hey here take a listen. Well the core idea is that instead of manipulating images in the pixel domain which is really difficult and very complicated we're going to manipulate images in the latent space of that generative model 
Apart from these guys, I've also learned a lot from YouTube channels like Syntex, Jabril's, Carrick, and more who make great content in machine learning. But these are pretty big names on YouTube and you have probably already heard of them. Anyways, let me know in the comments down below if you guys follow any other educators or creators in this field on YouTube and I'll be sure to check them out. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.